So getting ready to um, start work on this bonnet scoop. I want to uh, try and replicate John Goss's uh, um, sports sedan bonnet scoop. And the way I'm doing that is I have uh, got hold of some pictures. There's not a lot of pictures of this car, but um, printed them off and uh, blown them up where I can. And um, I just then take a known, known uh, dimension, like a wheel or uh, a headlight, or whatever, for that particular picture. I, I get the real measurement of that 15 inch wheel and then divide it of what I've got here and on the verniers and then whatever it is, which is on this one is 11. Um, then I can sort of start transferring all these um, dimensions here for the scoop and timesing it by 11 gives me a rough idea of the dimensions for the scoop. The problem is, is that a lot of these pictures are distorted. Um, a lot of them are taken at angles. Uh, so I basically try and um, uh, try and uh, get a rough average of what uh, the, the the dimensions will be, and also just going off by eye what 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 looks right. So it's not dead accurate, but it gives me close this is the this is the, the the whole method i've been using with transferring all the sign writing and and stuff like that over to the car um taking a known dimension i mean even on this one you can use the you can use the the door gap the door length um like i said headlights again wheels wheels you can you can use but i mean some of these pictures are pretty blurry pretty rough so it's just about of, of, of trying to, you know, get it. Um, and I've cut up some MDF. Uh, this is going to be the plug for the scoop to mold uh, the carbon fiber over. Um, so it's going to be a lot of work there. Um, just uh, gluing it together. Uh, and bare rough dimensions, but yeah, be carving it out of solid MDF, and yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of work. But what else do you do? You've just got to bite the bullet and do it. Um, it's 18 mil MDF, and just using PVA glue. That's just about dry. And those clamps can come off, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But. I'm pretty, I'll, I'll get I'll get close. I'm pretty confident of getting close. And uh, yeah, so this is the work I've been doing on the, the guards uh, on these vent areas. Um, I've opened them up a little bit, so I've just uh, made this hole a little bit bigger and uh, reglassed re it in. That's the standard one. So. If you get the profile there compared to the one I've done, uh, I'm not a very good shot. There's so much going on in the background, but you get the idea. I've just, I, I haven't gone crazy, but I've uh, just thought, I've done the ones on the bonnet. So um, I thought I've got to make my own, I'm going to make my own carbon fiber, um, uh, what do they call them? The vent scoops, eyebrows, whatever they call them. These um, eyelash things that have the uh, the fins that go in there. So they'll be made out of carbon fibre. So I thought, oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll play with this as well. And uh, I mean, it's, they weren't functional. And God knows why you would want air to go in here. You probably want to keep air out of there. But you know, this is a case uh, of form over function. Um, I, I, I like to uh, make things functional as much as I can, but um, in this case, uh, I can't really find a function for them. I don't, I don't, 
I don't think there'll be a lot of air getting in there. I think when the air hits this spot on, on, on the front here, it'll glance off over. So I don't think there's a lot of air getting in there or get trapped in there. Um, but having said that, on a lot of new cars, especially, uh, well, it's even filtered down to things like Kias and all that, they have a thing called what a, 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 an air curtain. Um, but they're usually down here where they take the, the high pressure air in from here, vent it into the guard, and then it's got, uh, it's got um, vents that run along just in front of the, the, the just in front of the front wheel and what that does is the high pressure air pumps in here and then comes out here and, and pushes the, the turbulence away from the, the front wheel and keeps the air stuck to the sides more down the side of the car so there is a bit of a gain there I did a bit of research into it to see what I could do with these scoops but to be honest um, I don't think I'll go that far. I'll just do it for looks and something a little bit different. But, um, yeah, so I've just got the other one to do. And uh, yeah, I think they'll look all right. Subtool, I haven't got, like I said, I haven't got, I've, only, I've only dropped it about 10 mil. So, and opened the hole up a bit. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. And remember, I'm not cutting up genuine GT guards here. These are fiberglass replicas. So that I bought cheap off eBay years and years and years ago. So um, yeah, I can, play, I can play around with them without hurting anything original. So I've started uh, carving my John Goss uh, sports sedan hood scoop replica out of this solid block of MDF I've made. Um, you can see I've just uh, laminated pieces together just using, uh, I think it's about 18 mil or 16 mil uh, MDF um, and just then gluing it together with just PVA glue. So just pouring that all over it. And clamping it but yeah uh, you can see it's still pretty rough and I've you know gone a bit deep with some of the saw marks but nothing a bit of bog will fix but it's probably about another I don't know three or four mil to be shaved off a right round to refine the shape but it's just a just roughing the shape in at the moment um, it's a lot of work and it's uh, it's very messy, a lot of sawdust, but um, yeah, like I said, I'll have to fill some of these areas. But uh, getting there slowly, um, I don't know any other way of doing it. Uh, it's just like this is this is going to be the plug for the mold or the skin, depending on which way I go. But uh, yeah, just using a, basically all I'm using is um, a, a planer electric planer from from uh, Bunnings I've had for years and uh, a belt sander 
and uh, yeah, I'll just take it bit by bit and get there. Still a long way to go though. Um, still, I've, I've finished modifying one guard with that, that front vent scoop. Um, almost finished the other side. Um, and then I'll get the, I've got to get, go and buy some more epoxy primer. And then I'll uh, sand all the, the guards back and uh, get, rid, get them in um, some uh, primer. Get them uh, looking good and smooth. And um, then uh, do the final patina paint job um, on it. So uh, to match this, um, got a cover on it at the moment. Keeps the dust down. But uh, yeah. They come up pretty good. I'm pretty happy with those. And I'm still going to make the, uh, the flute uh, eyebrow things that go in here. But um, yeah, we're just pretty happy with how they've, they've, they've turned out. Yeah, so that's all I got for this uh, episode, guys. Um, sorry, I, uh, I've been pretty slack. I, I, for the, in the last six weeks, I haven't done a lot of work to the car. I've been suffering a few lower back problems. Um, I had some other issues. I um, almost lost the engine in the the F6, the the, the BA F6, my daily driver. Um, thermostat uh, let go, um, uh, but uh, it all seems good. Fingers crossed. But the engine seems okay. Um, but she overheated pretty bad. Tough motors. Um, I overheated it pretty bad. So, but uh, yeah. Um, what else have I got? Uh, yeah, like I said, it's been a bit, it's a bit of a slow start to the year. Um, I'm slowly getting into it. I, I think I've just been a bit like a, 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 a deer in the headlights um, because I was so focused on paint work and everything and body work. And when that come to an end, it's like, oh shit, what do I do? So I'm slowly getting together what I, finishing the body work, finishing the custom parts. Um, I still, I uh, haven't revealed or really decided what I'm doing with the boot lid, uh, what uh, car I'm going to copy, but I'm getting close. So I'll reveal that in the, in the next few episodes. Um, the wiring loom, uh, I'm still working on. Uh, I'm going in a little bit of a different direction. I'm doing it all myself. Um, it'll be very simple. And I'm still doing a bit of research on what, I, what I'm going to use, but stay tuned for that, because that could be pretty interesting. Um, bit of modern technology. Uh, fuel system, I've got to dig the fuel tank out and because that's looking, it's been sitting in the shed for the last 10 years so I've uh, got to give that a good clean up. Um, yeah and I'll just keep plugging away at this literally. Um, I'm sure I'll get there uh, and hopefully it won't look too bad um, and get the guards painted. So get the guards painted in the patina scheme I want. Like I said, a bit of a slow start to the year, um, but just, need, just needed a bit of a break, reset, uh, and uh, sort of try and figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, a clear pathway, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty disorganized at the moment, so. I've got my garage back though, all the furniture's gone, so yeah. That was good. So uh, yeah, I'll kick back in and yeah, short video, but I am plugging away a little bit at a time. So cheers guys.